Hello and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I'm looking at Mystery Key Bundles. I'm doing it today because um, I've jumped onto this site just to have a look at what the deals are and I came across this deal. Now the site in question is fanatical.com. We're in no way affiliated with them. I don't care if you go on there and buy their keys or not or go and use some other key uh, reseller. That I have no interest in. What I want to see is for the money, is it worth the gamble? The draw of this bundle from fanatical.com is that uh, it, you get 10 mystery keys for seven pounds. Are they worth 70p each? Who knows? But they are enticing you in saying five people, five purchasers of this bundle will get a AAA game bundle. The likelihood of us hitting that AAA bundle today is, I'd say, zero. What I'm going to do for you today is to see the quality of games in that bundle so without further ado let's just stop wasting time and get right into it so i'm spinning across onto fanatical i'm going to uh, have a look here what it says it just says five triple a game packs to be found it's a phantom mystery bundle 10 keys six pound 99 and it says about this bundle a magical mystical selection of super steam games uh, awaits with a brand new phantom mystery bundle there's a treat for all senses with top AAA titles, fantastic indie experiences and highly rated games all waiting to be discovered. I'd hazard a guess that we will just be in for indie experiences rather than uh, fantastical indie experiences or AAA titles or highly rated games. Uh, and that's not all. Five lucky gamers will hit the jackpot with Phantom AAA packs featuring five of the biggest Steam releases of the year so far. So these are current AAAs. Let's click add to cart and let me go and pay for this and then we shall do some uh, some analysis of what we've got okie dokie order has been made i have paid my six pounds 99 so let's view our keys and i'm going to bring up steam as well so we can see um what the general rating of said games is so i've got steam just down here right first game Let's click to open that. And the first key we have is Fractured Minds. £1.79. That is a £1.79 game. Fractured Minds is an immersive artistic short game exploring anxiety and mental health issues. It seems to have been... It's, it's a BAFTA young something designer uh, winner. So that's actually quite good, I guess, um, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let's read the reviews. I mean, we're, we're looking at an hour's worth of gameplay, 20 minutes... Some of these reviews, I mean, is that all there is? 20 minutes worth of gameplay, an hour's worth of gameplay. All right, so that's the first one. I mean, I'm not overly uh, not overly unhappy, but also equally not overly happy. So let's go on with our second Steam key. Okay, second game, Spirit Hunter NG. This is a £32.99 game, and it says, uh, oh gosh... <laughs> it's a not safe for work game. I'm a little dubious about this. Uh, partial mu partial nudity. Beware the creeping horror face nightmares you thought were merely urban legends. Uncover a dark mystery. Blah, blah, blah. It is a... What is it? Some kind of um, story type situation. 40 hours this one has. Uh, 15 hours. I mean, it looks all right. It's got It's got good enough reviews. In fact, very positive. Uh, a, again, probably um, a game which will work on Steam Deck. So that's good, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so onwards with our next key. So game number three, Mech Mechanic Simulator. Let's have a little look. 5.71 gigs. Uh, really the only pure mech building and repair game on the market to my knowledge i mean it's a pretty niche affair so you know um what am i might say lots of negativity uh i like this game or really i like the potential it had yeah i will never play that but regardless i mean there's there's value there right um, it looks to be a, a pretty in-depth thing um who knows so on with our next code our fourth code so the next game is here, Armada 2526 Gold Edition, another mixed game. This came out in 2013, so nine years old. It's £2.24p, uh, 66 on Metacritic, 
277 hours. Doesn't like it at all. 25 hours. You've got some good game time here. Some really good game time. 72 hours. 2008. <laughs> I haven't even been alive that long. Um, this guy didn't like it. Spent uh, 50 minutes. So, seems to be some good stuff there. What type of game is it? It is a 4X strategy game. Again, not my jam at all. I shan't be playing this. Um, but there you go. Uh, the game is 85% discounted at the moment, usually £14.99. Today, £2.24. Game number five is a game I actually recognise. This is Automa Chef, okay, a resource management puzzler where you design kitchens, program machinery, and watch your genius come to life. It's time to engineer tomorrow's kitchen today. So um, this £10.99, it's a Team 17 situation. Um, it's playable on Steam Deck, okay, so there's going to be um, a couple of little issues here. It says entering some text requires the on-screen keyboard, and some in-game text is rather small, so that means it's, it's perfectly playable. Um, 71, that, I would say, is a good draw for this pack. And, uh, yeah, £10.99, can't go wrong there. So, our sixth game is The Lost Crown, and it's uh, received very positive reviews, 316 of them. £6.99, not the most expensive thing. It's playable, again, on Steam Deck with issues. Noted that sometimes shows mouse and keyboard, you're going to need uh, some spectacles to read the text. Doesn't support native display resolution and may experience degraded performance, but it seems you can play it on there. Uh, 71, again, um, decent scores enough on meta and it is a <laughs> it's an amusing looking game it says embark on an eerie ghost hunting adventure featuring real evidence of paranormal activity to solve the mystery of the lost crown and um yeah i mean all right whatever it's an adventure title it's an indie game and uh five hours 33 hours 10 hours 8.1 there's some good game time in there, right? So, potentially very good. Uh, I adored this game. There we go. So, yeah, it actually looks fairly appealing. Game number seven here. This is my time at Porsche, right? And this is possibly the first very good game, okay, in terms of my own personal belief. Uh, I believe this is another Team 17. Yes, it's another Team 17 uh, published game and it's got very positive reviews 29.9 thousand of them okay that's indicative uh my belief anyway as to how good it actually is uh yeah 25 pounds um support steam trading cards etc uh, this isn't a game i've actually played i've seen there is a follow-up game of of it uh, sound uh, my time at sand rock i think i've got that uh, this is playable on the Steam Deck with problems, uh, some functionality not accessible without the uh, virtual keyboard, blah, blah, blah. So that looks very good. What have we got going on with it? It looks to be a sort of one of those uh, farming situations. Um, so that's all right. I mean, I don't gravitate towards those types of games, but um, I guess if ever I find myself um, with a desire to do so, I now have that on my steam deck so happy times 73 on metacritic very good scoring i'm happy with that that is the first proper good pull from this pack i'd say now um so let's go on with number eight here's game number eight soulcraft mixed review 65 of them came out in 2015 what is it i hear you ask it is an isometric something uh looks all right sort of hades looking dungeon crawling escapades let's have a look it is an action rpg that can be played completely offline these these were the hot topics back in 2015 playable via gamepad mouse keyboard or touch and uh, it's a simple action rpg game with lots of hack and slash and dungeon crawling um reviews yeah as i said mixed what's going on two and a half hours obviously a cell phone tablet port that's poor, man. I don't like that. What have we got here? 79 pence. So it comes in around the average. Um, if you were to take your seven, uh, your 10 games, divide that um, by your £6.99 uh, or 69p per game. Um, 
so this is 79p so it actually comes in above uh, no one has cared to test this on a steam deck I'm sure it fully works um, there it is I've got nothing more to say on it maybe a bit of a dud pull but on with number nine okay game number nine is actually something that's always been on my wish lists this is Val Faris, okay and it's a 2d action platformer and it looks incredible um, I think this I've actually got on PlayStation wishlist uh, as well as my Steam wishlist. And now it's in my library because of this mystery bundle. Uh, I'd say that is an absolute hit. Right? £22.49 ordinarily. And uh, very positive reviews, 1,000 of them. Look at this. This looks stunning. Big boss fights, great platforming, great graphics. Um, like Contra, but uh, Amzing Colours and Music fun gunplay conferences okay so doom meets contra lots of people comparing it to contra i love contra it was my very first sort of platformer experience in the early 90s late 80s probably around 89 90 uh yeah i, I can't i can't uh, get over the fact that i've got this game now in my library all because of this six pounds 99 bundle good absolute win so on to our last our very last um code now so game number 10, Conarium. Conarium. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Mostly positive, 1,500 uh, reviews. And it came out in 2017. 15 pounds worth of video game. What have we got here, though? 71 on Metacritic. Again, decent. Won some awards I've never heard of. Reviewers, reviewers, reviewers. 17 hours. Three or a couple of negatives. Building a good horror setting is more than just general amnesia and empty Arctic Arctic installation. Okay, uh, really boring. First person adventure game narrative and lore of classic Lovecraft tales. All right, so that's what we've got graphically. How's it look? First person Lovecraft horror stuff. This is what I got with the Phantom Mystery Bundle, the 10 keys for 6 Um I got, let's have a quick look here, a, uh, 32, 42, about 50, 60, 80, 100, about 120 pounds retail worth of games from £6.99, of which two I would say, one I will definitely play, and that's Val Faris, uh, the £22.49 uh, Contra meets Doom um, platformer. Uh, another I'm very pleased to get, which is my time at Porsche. Um, the rest in here are a little bit wishy-washy for me. Potentially might dip into... Yeah, let's be honest, I'm never going to play any of the others um, apart from Val Faris. Not even my time at Porsche. Let me know what you think about um, the bundle I got. I think, actually... I've been slating mystery bundles for years and years and years. I think I did our first one maybe eight years ago, nine years ago. This isn't it isn't a terrible one. Let me know if you've bought one and how you get on. Um, and if you want to see me do more, I'm willing to put my cash um, behind this just to, to get it going to booster that uh, Steam library, which is now, I think, over a thousand games or so. Um, didn't get any duplication on my Steam library. This is all sort of slightly left field games from my usual uh, stuff that I purchase. But yeah, overall, I'd say out of 10, I'd give that a solid 7, all right, as far as bundles go. It's nothing, nothing that shocked me, but equally, I wasn't disappointed. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And until the next time, I'll see you later.